Welcome to the SRO training video series. SRO supports the educational research and outreach missions of Texas State University. In this video, we will demonstrate how to prepare your sample for imaging in the FEI SEM. Before we begin, there are several sample restrictions you need to be aware of. First, biological samples must be dehydrated prior to loading. Next, non-conductive materials may need a conductive coating. And finally, nanoparticles, magnetic materials, and biological samples require prior approval from SRO staff before use in the FEI SEM. Before we begin, let's review the tools needed for sample preparation. You will need to wear gloves anytime you are handling the shuttle or any time you are doing sample preparation. You will need a screwdriver, tweezers, adhesive carbon tabs, or two-sided copper tape, and stubs to affix your sample to. There are several different types of holders available for your samples, both small and large size stubs, as well as a full-size wafer holder, which is able to accommodate four inch wafers. Next, you'll want to consider the placement of your samples in the shuttle, making sure not to overlap where the shuttle clamps. You can load up to six samples at a time, including the 45 degree position. Using the tweezers, remove a carbon tab from the backing sheet and place it on the stub. Gently smooth out the tape and then remove the release liner to expose the adhesive. Next, place your sample on the adhesive and gently press into place. For best results, it is recommended to pre-mount your samples ahead of time to allow the adhesive to fully set. Depending on the type of sample, you may wish to attach a small piece of copper tape extending from your sample to the metal stub. The tape provides a conductive path for the electrons and will minimize charging of your sample while imaging. Once you've determined the size and number of samples you'd like to load, use the screwdriver to gently tighten each set screw. You may want to tip the shuttle upside down to ensure that your samples do not fall out. Finally, use the height gauge to make sure your sample does not exceed five millimeters. Otherwise, it will not fit through the load lock. Once your samples are secured in the shuttle, you're ready to load the shuttle into the SEM. 